Okay. So welcome to the second seminar this week. Uh, it's a very fun week. Um, I'm very pleased to be in the world matter for your cover. Uh, and then so forth is also here as um, a participant. And um, well, one of my favorite topics really transforms on M terms of fields, and in this case, they're two dimensions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the organizers of this program and especially Bill for invitation and chance to be uh, here. And uh, I want to tell a few words about us. Uh, we work one uh, in Sobolev Institute of Mathematics. Uh, this institute was founded by Sergei Sobolev in 1957. I think that everybody here knows about uh, Sobolev space and uh, his other interesting uh, results. Uh, and also, Vladimir Sherpatinov, uh, who is a uh, very famous person here, uh, you know, he also works in our uh, This is our uh, small scientific uh, team. Ivan, uh, me, our scientific head, Evgeny Dirksu, and uh, our colleague, uh, Svetlana Malikov. Uh, and first of all, I want to start with. Uh, Vector case uh, to remind some information about uh, this case uh, uh, to explain what we want uh, to get. We wanted to get in two tensor and uh, m tensor cases. Uh, here we use uh, this uh, differential operators, gradient operator, isogonal gradient operator, and divergence operator. This uh, implementation, uh, I think, it is uh, for everybody knows it. And uh, uh, vector field uh, is called potential if there is uh, some function phi uh, such that uh, this vector field uh, is equal to V of phi. Uh, vector field uh, is called sinusoidal if uh, its uh, divergence is equal to zero. In the, and in uh, Cochin's book, it was shown that uh, every sinusoidal vector field, two dimensional, uh, can be expressed. In this form. In other words, uh, there is uh, for every sinusoidal vector field, uh, there is uh, such a function psi, uh, potential psi, uh, such that uh, this uh, vector field is equal to the orthogonal of psi. And uh, here I will use the composition of vector field in this very simple form. Uh, sure. Uh, I, I uh, will say later about uh, a paper where you can find uh, more strict statement and uh, explanation why, in our case, we use uh, this decomposition. Uh, and uh, this uh, decomposition uh, doesn't include the uh, harmonic part uh, because we state uh, boundary condition for potential. Uh, this one. And uh, if we want uh, to reconstruct the harmonic part of two-dimensional vector field, uh, Ivan uh, has very interesting result. You can find it. Uh, can yeah. I ask you, is yes. this the whatever you have or is it just an example? Uh, we can see the case when... And uh, the point is our location inside. Um, so it's, it's zero, uh, uh, always without zero. Yeah, location here and zero here and uh, outside. I'm sorry, what does the notation S1 mean? S1 of Ah, uh, this is space of uh, vector fields on B. And for uh, and then the fields. But it's you haven't put it a zero. I mean, so what W is in uh, uh, maybe uh, yes, yeah, HK minus one subscript zero. I mean, zero at the boundary, right? zero up to the boundary. Um, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> but the phi and the psi also zero at the boundary. Ah. 
языке, ну, uh, we uh, choose potentials with this boundary condition. And uh, sorry, I think this here. Uh, so when we choose, when we choose zero potential on the uh, boundary for the potential, mm -hmm. yeah, for the, potential. the potential field that you get will be on program of the boundary. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very if you do the same with the mm -hmm. field, the field with the tangential. Mm -hmm. What is written there then? Your, your state, your state can, in order for them for the total field to be zero on the boundary, mm -hmm. they should cancel each other. Now it's not clear mm -hmm. how the field can be this way can cancel the field can be this way. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that a harmonic, if you just take a field and you apply those to one the condition, mm -hmm. there should be a harmonic field. Also yes. The field that will have non zero boundary that will reconcile. Uh, there is improvement of uh, uh, the fact that this decomposition is true for our case in paper. No, this uh, improvement is hmm, uh, uh, big enough, and uh, I can show it here that uh, you can find. And uh, this uh, decomposition, uh, no, we have for this decomposition, and parts of the sum uh, is orthogonal in uh, the sense of uh, inner product. In, in. Uh, and about transforms. Um, this uh, transform uh, looks to that, and this is my transform and the red transform with integral along this line. This line is given by this is from the direction of the line, this. Uh, and this And uh, uh what's what's wrong? The way it's on there. And it uh, is here that uh, uh, we um, uh, we split the integral from this point to this point. So that's why we have for this one is all and uh x would be here what is it? Uh that each side. Oh, or you can use five five ten five one. Yeah. Uh, and rather than transform this integral function, uh, which is in red transform this integral of inner product of uh, vector field and direction vector from this line, and uh, the transform red transform this integral of inner product of uh, and uh, these uh, uh, these forms uh, have uh, oh, follow properties. Uh, first and second property uh, tell us that uh, these uh, transforms uh, have uh, non-trivial terms. Uh, in other words, if we know only longitudinal rate transform of uh, uh, vector field, uh, longitudinal rate transform of potential vector field is equal to zero. In other words, if we know only longitudinal rate transform, we can reconstruct only the seminoidal part of our field. And hmm, this is the same. And also, there is connection between uh, rate transforms 
of the aircraft field and uh, radon transform of potential on the base of uh, which uh, we construct a vector field. Uh, this is uh, equalities uh, three and four. And also, I didn't write the slide, but I can write here that there is connection between uh, ray transform. Uh, if we take one dimension and construct uh, potential part in the uh, by y1 and uh, the model, uh, this is the image, the same. Uh, this connection uh, is true for two times the length, and then this is true, and uh, this uh, helps us to um, solve uh, some of the problem. In other words, we can uh, solve the uh, uh, problem of the construction vector and the field uh, by some values of uh, ray transforms on the, for example, for the fixed uh, transform, and for other transforms, uh, write uh, formulas Mm -hmm. And uh, how we can solve this problem? Uh, let me know whether so uh, longitudinal and transfer of reference form if we want to find a uh, vector field uh, We can write uh, this system. Uh, I think that it's clear how to write. Well, for example, uh, if we have a And this present transform of uh, internet W and this one and this one. For second quality of uh, system. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, system, uh, matrix of the system uh, has non uh, trivial determinant, and we can solve the system. And uh, we get uh, two equations. Uh, on the left hand side, we have a random transform of components, uh, our uh, vector field. And on the uh, right hand side, we have uh, now and various. And uh, then we can use uh, any inversion formulas uh, for random transforms. And then we get uh, our, our fields. And here we reconstruct components of vector field. And uh, for example, if only one ray transform, for example, the digital ray transform is now, uh, as I uh, say, uh, only solenoidal part we can reconstruct from this data. Uh, in other words, we can uh, write the system of such type, and uh, you know, second equality is equal to zero because solenoidal vector field uh, belongs to kernel of uh, transport ray transform. And then we can solve this system and uh, get oh, and use inversion formulas for the transform, and uh, then we get a uh, component of the environmental part of this vector field. Well, for the transfer of ray transform, uh, the solution is the same. Uh, and how we solve this problem well, without the uh, usage of uh, inversion formulas, uh, we applied the least way method. Uh, Basic fields in the initial phase were constructed with usage of this prime. Uh, and the uh, advantage of this method is uh, that uh, this method can be 
uh, applied for media risk absorption and refraction. Uh, but the disadvantage is uh, that this method uh, needs uh, uh, requires uh, a lot of time and uh, resources for the uh, to realize. And uh, the second paper uh, here, uh, I calculate proton transform of these plants. Uh, it, it is it is not difficult, but uh, it is it helps uh, help us uh, to uh, reduce one field of calculations because we had uh, analytical formulas. And uh, in this paper, we compare to so we solved only uh, this problem only with the shock uh, response. And uh, also in collaboration with this Alfred Lewis, we uh, solved this problem with the shock estimating those methods. And the uh, single value decomposition of was used. In first paper, single value decomposition was constructed. And uh, second, uh, Ivan and I uh, compare. Uh, two algorithms, uh, one of which is a bit clamor that we've defined, and uh, uh, single value decomposition, which uh, was constructed, constructed in the first case. And what about two kinds of two case? Uh, here we uh, consider uh, these uh, differential operators. Uh, in a derivation, uh, it means uh, that we not only uh, calculate derivative, but also apply centralization operator. I will say later about how we do it. And also we uh, use orthogonal derivation operator, the orthogonal and divergent. Divergent is uh, divergent applies uh, is applied so component wise uh, to the frequency field. And in this paper. You can see most of the statement improvements, and it is very big and a lot of uh, information. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, in vector uh, case, we have two types of uh, vector two potential and cinematic. D5 and D are so many types of vector. Uh, for two tensor fields, we can construct three types. Uh, of uh, tensor fields, uh, not four, because this operator D and the orthogonal are commutative, and just three, but and uh, maybe this formula would carry, but it is very really simple. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if this uh, gradient uh, is and uh, and uh, then we apply uh, the gradient again to the uh, Uh, then field of such type, and uh, here we didn't use computation operator because we uh, oh. get symmetric. Uh, and are these still zero on the back? Yes, yes. And uh, what about this one? And uh, you can see that this and this are different, and we need uh, to summarize it and divide it. 
right incubation of rape. Uh, I don't think it helps. Uh, Uh, this is uh, also uh, uh, symmetric to tensor field, and we don't produce synthesization operator. And uh, this told us uh, that he wanted to construct uh, uh, such type of to tensor field by longitudinal ray transform. But this is impossible because this uh, tensor field, no, I will say about some later, but this uh, field, this plus, is not uh, of such type. But only uh, fields of such type we can construct from from which it is not written. Sorry, I mean fields of what type? Uh, this this is uh, solenoidal. I yeah. Here we have one is, and uh, the decomposition theorem uh, here uh, can be written as follows, and uh, here we have two potential parts. This one and this one, and only one solenoidal part. This one, uh, and so these uh, parts are solenoid in pairs in the uh, sense of uh, in the product. And uh, how we can get this composition? Right. Uh, from Vladimir uh, Shostakovich, who looked at that every Tensor and in our case, two tensor fields can be decomposed in this sum uh, with uh, tensor. Oh, I don't know what to do with this also two tensor and this way is different. Yeah, you, you have spoken about the following thing. Uh, it is only as an uh, idea. How, how we understand that uh, this uh, field, or two times field, we can uh, decompose, we can uh, decompose with this sum. And uh, this uh, part, uh, the results were shown uh, that uh, every solenoidal tensor field can be expressed uh, in this part. This is the point. Uh, through the uh, solenoid, right? Mm -hmm. This uh another part. And here we can uh, use the composition from replicate and get and Using this uh, decomposition for vector field, we can uh, get the construction or the composition for the tensor, for three tensor, and and oh, it is well now longitudinal rate transform. Here we have uh, uh, inner product of uh, two tensor field and. Uh, Direct vector, vector, and the uh, main properties uh, field of type U, U it is this one, and U this style it is one, 
uh, belong to the kernel of this transform. In other words, only this part of uh, the data field uh, can be constructed uh, from this uh, ray transform. In other words, only this type of uh, data field we can construct to the nine values of this ray transform. And also, there is connection between uh, longitudinal ray transform of corresponding uh, vector field and radon transform of fixed potential. But here uh, we have a uh, second derivative. And, and from this uh, ray transform, we can construct this. So it's ray transform. Uh, here we have uh, in a product with psi here. Uh, from this uh, ray transform, we can reconstruct only this potent uh, potential part of uh, uh, the tensor field. Other parts belong to kernel of this transform, and also there is connection between uh, ray transform and the uh, transform of potential. And uh, you can see that we can reconstruct this part, we can reconstruct this part, but this part we can't reconstruct by using, uh, by using uh, longitude and ray transform. And uh, it means that we need so right this one. How to get uh, uh, when we have new for such types, uh, we use the method of when you have. And uh, you can see that here, D twice and twice, D is open twice, D is open twice, and now we want, uh, we want to reconstruct the tensor field of such type. And it's natural to uh, use uh, rate transforms with the uh, integral of this inner product. Yeah. This uh, ray transforms is both mixed ray transforms. They define transforms, and this uh, ray transform uh, has the same properties. Uh, this part and this part of the tensor field belong to the kernel of this ray transform, and also there is connection between uh, mixed ray transform and ray, uh, and radon transform of potential. But here. We have uh, coefficient one half. Uh, and as I said above, uh, this connection between ray transform and dragon transform allows us uh, to have connection between different types of uh, ray transform with uh, one potential of uh, tensor field. Uh, having this ray transform, we can reconstruct this part. In other words, if we have three ray transforms for two tensor fields, we have to construct four tensor fields. And so how we can uh, solve the problem? As above, well, we can write this system, uh, solve this system, and uh, using the inversion formulas for ray transform, uh, construct uh, uh, two tensor fields component wise. Uh, We also applied uh, this square method with this plant. So, in this case, why breaks not work? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And the uh, simple way decomposition also was constructed for these uh, ray transforms. And here we use it in everything. And now we can. Uh, uh, show result for M tensor field. Uh, here, uh, apparatus of uh, D, the orthogonal and uh, divergence operator, uh, is defined. I defined as follows. Uh, I can't write uh, write how it works, but I hope that uh, after two tensor uh, field case, this here. <laughs> and uh, here the composition theorem we have in such uh, in such form. Uh, we have uh, now we work with M tensor field. M tensor field is decomposed in sum of M plus one part. One part is solenoidal, and M parts 
of uh, potential, uh, M parts potential. Uh, and all these parts are solvable at the bottom. And we can uh, consider uh, ray transforms of M tensor field. Uh, we can write in by one formula. Uh, here uh, in the inner product, uh, we have uh, J uh, times of uh, vector xi and m minus j vector eta. And if uh, j is equal to zero, in other words, in, uh, uh, in the inner product, we use only eta vectors, uh, it will be contributing vectors. If j is equal to m, uh, it will be transform and transform, and other m mi minus one transforms uh, will be mixed vectors. Can I just ask from the previous slide? Mm -hmm. Previous? Okay. okay. I, I think it's so similar questions come up to the time, but in this decomposition, you're assuming everything is zero at the boundary? Yes. Uh, this condition uh, is a uh, potential, and uh, there k minus one derivative is equal to zero on the boundary. Not only potential, but their uh, derivatives too. And for two tensor case, we also require that. Uh, potential and the uh, first derivative is equal to zero in country. Only in this case, we have this decomposition. Okay. Yeah. The condition on W, W doesn't is it necessarily zero at the It is not needed for yeah, this decomposition. For the canalities, for properties of uh, ray transforms, but we can consider uh, these uh, boundary conditions. Uh, also, uh, for, mm -hmm. so for numerical experiments, as usual, uh, field is equal to zero on the boundary, but here it is not required. It is uh, needed only this uh, condition for potential. No, no condition at all. Yes, yes. And that's it. The potential vanishes in the final. Is it zero? Uh, no, no. Is it zero? Yes. The degree of it is zero. Yeah. When you say H zero, right? I mean, does that mean um, the, the, the closure? In H K of um, functions that are compactly small, mm -hmm. so all the derivatives are zero. Yes. Yeah. No, so all k minus one. So k minus one. No, up to k minus one. Up to, oh, yeah. Um, so sorry, I think we're just wondering then when you differentiate n times, uh, it's still zero at the boundary either. Like you do D or, or D per, uh, it's still zero for the boundary, right? So W is zero for mm -hmm. the boundary. That's, that's what we're going to do. I think about it and write the example when uh, potential is equal to zero, but the uh, whole is not. That is some difficult to write it right now, but. One uh, uh, way to demonstrate the uh, single world decomposition. Yeah. And so, uh, in this case, uh, potentials. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I will show later. Yes, uh, potential levels It might be clear when, when we see the RSVP, it mm -hmm. might be. Okay. Might be clear. And there is you know, the same properties as for vector and potential cases, uh, only one part of. Uh, then M tensor field can be reconstructed for one uh, ray transform. All other parts belong to the kernel of this one ray transform. There is connection between a ray transform of M tensor field and uh, radon transform of potential. Uh, and here you can see that uh, there is this partition one half. This one uh, one half is the same. And uh, also here I write a uh, connection between uh, different ray transforms with uh, uh, one potential. 
No, it's a little bit pollution. And how to solve? As above, we can uh, write uh, system, solve system, uh, apply inversion formulas. Uh, we uh, use uh, use the approximating words for this case. Uh, what about this square method? Uh, I have formula for m uh, for random transform of these points uh, m, no, m m degree, but uh, as hypothesis, not uh, is not proved. Uh, it wasn't proved. Uh, I uh, solve. Uh, I calculated up to Gibbs degree for this point, and it was enough for to tend the case because uh, no, our colleagues told us that for function it is not a third degree of this point to good uh, result. For m it is sort of two. Uh, for me, it was enough uh, to calculate this up to Gibbs degree, and uh, sure, uh, we maybe can to, uh, to prove its formula and use it, but it is not interesting for us now. And uh, some words about simple valid contribution. Uh, what is this? I remind this. Uh, uh, let me have a uh, operator equation with such type. Here A is one of our written forms, hmm. noun operators. Uh, G is the noun values. And we want to find this F. Uh, in our case, it is the uh, M tends to uh, Operator A has a simple way to really decomposition as uh, it can be written in this form. Here, UK is orthogonal basis in the initial space of the operator, VK orthogonal basis in the space of images, and sigma K is single basis. And uh, if we can write this sum, then uh, the, the inverse operator can be written in this point. Here, VK, UK is the same, and sigma K is the same. Uh, and uh, our task uh, was uh, to solve or to uh, construct singular validity composition of our transforms, uh, at least one of these, because there is connection between different transforms, if it was in our class. And uh, after this, we can uh, reconstruct and then the field uh, using uh, numerically using the truncated range transform, but analytically using this one. And for this, we use potential of such type. Uh, I, you know, we use it in uh, all of the system. It will be convenient. It will be convenient. It will be convenient. So, and what is this? Uh, here, it is coefficient. Uh, we uh, choose it uh, for. Hmm. No, we want to we want to memorize our basic elements in the initial state, and this coefficient uh, allows us to get uh, basic fields uh, with normal equal to one. This is so just a normalized. No, no, no. Normalized. 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 Yes, yes, yes. And this term is used for boundary conditions for potential and. Uh, uh, is the derivatives uh, up to uh, m minus one two? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it will be equal to zero on the boundary. No, because we consider here limits. And this one, uh, okay. right? E okay. is equal to what? Uh, this notation is used for the uh, notation. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just like so homotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, on, on, like, yes. Is that exactly so? <laughs> on, 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 like, sort of real, like, real circular homotics. Yeah. Yes. And three dimensional case, we used real circular so homotics. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. this uh, is the uh, Jacobi polynomial so with this uh, indices. And you know, for example, for vector case, here m is equal to uh, one, for two times two, and so on. 
Uh, and on the base of the potentials, uh, we construct uh, basic uh, M tensor fields applying uh, apparatus D and D orthogonal. Uh, and here you can see that this potential and uh, its derivative is equal to zero on the boundary, but space which we uh, get is not equal to zero on the boundary. Uh, mm -hmm. And after this, uh, after construction of these basic uh, fields, uh, we need to prove a stagonality of these basic fields. And you know, after this, normalize. Normalize it is easy, but to prove a stagonality, is it, it is not easy. It, is, it was uh, the hardest part of this uh, construction uh, of single validity composition. And uh, no, for two-dimensional uh, cases, not so hard, but for three-dimensional case for two tensor field, it took five years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we do it uh, directly. And you know, for example, here uh, we need uh, to find all uh, um, derivative, different derivative of this. Uh, um, potentials and uh, find uh, in the product and after this integrate and uh, I think that uh, uh, for three tensor field and uh, in two dimensional case this may be normal but for higher degree of tensor fields uh, but for three dimensional case it is awful. <laughs> And uh, last year, uh, we managed to uh, solve a segmentality for m tensor fields for two-dimensional case and three-dimensional case, and uh, uh, this result uh, now is under review. review. Yes, uh, and we have got uh, first uh, review and uh, answer, and now wait uh, decision. Uh, and uh, if we uh, prove a segmentality, normalize. And then we need to calculate uh, images for these basic fields. And uh, to do it, uh, it helped us uh, connection between ray transforms and radon transform. And uh, here we use the uh, result of uh, Alfred Lewis in this paper. Uh, he proved that for function of such type, radon transform can be uh, calculated by this point. In other words, uh, we take uh, potential as we have. Uh, we can uh, calculate radon transform of this potential. And after this, we uh, differentiate this function, capital psi, m types, and get uh, images of our uh, rate transform. And after this, uh, we need to normalize this system of function two because we need uh, uh, orthon also normal uh, system in the initial space uh, and image spaces uh, and and we get uh, equalities in this type so here f capital f is uh, uh, m tensor fields basic so we know uh, and uh, normalized, normalized uh, in the initial space this function is a so and normalized in the space of images and this single uh, uh, it uh, has such work. Uh, and this uh, result uh, about uh, I see the result. It's also not a clear attention. First. So can we just, uh, can we just go back to the singular values? Because I was waiting, uh, waiting yeah. for mm -hmm. this. Uh, um, so so what can you see in these singular values? Because um, uh, this has got this um, decay that goes like um, square root of 
Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, the, but the, the other part that's to do with the mixed arrangement story, right? That's just mm, yes, big yes. M and the J. Yes, I think for well, as at the same for all for all arrangements. So, so in a way, we're just seeing mm -hmm. uh, the formulas you had before, where you use the inverse Reynolds transform, mm -hmm. and that has a, a certain decay of the singular values. Mm -hmm. And then you've also got um, some derivatives that mm -hmm. say the rest. Yeah. The, the, the M, M mm -hmm, yep. the, the, the rank of the Oh, it, it is the rank of the density, mm -hmm. yeah, right? Yeah. So, so the extra thing compared to the scary cases thing is, is that M. Mm -hmm. And that's because you you have this formula where you differentiate the scalar mm -hmm. Reynolds transform M times. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. e here on the left is, is the spread on the X what? Yeah. Uh, this, this, one. Uh, this is one of the experiments from this. Uh, here, G is equal to zero. This is G equal Is J is equal to M? This is J between one and two and minus one. This is the response. And here, this is any uh, response. So, so for the cases one and n, does it agree with uh, cover set in the proteins? Uh, um, SVD? Yes. No, but the, they used uh, as the phenomenon of the potential. Uh, no, they also construct the single validity condition, yeah. but with other uh, potential. Um, so the, you can start the position for only for the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the, when J is equal to zero. Yeah, so J equals zero or M, it should agree. Uh, M, mm -hmm. or is it any, any? J or yeah. J yeah. zero or J. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It should agree. Uh, Does it agree? It's, it's just, it's, it's okay. Um, I, I don't think their formula for the singular value was that they, simple. They have, they have some uh, other result, another result because they use other uh, functions, phenomenals for construction. And they also use the parallels and lines. Yes, yes. 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 So phenomenals can be uh, constructed using. Uh, yeah, with the phenomenons yeah. and uh, the state of governments. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if he, uh, he, 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 they use other approach for proof uh, of uh, this decomposition, and uh, it is uh, very difficult to compare how result and uh, uh, they result uh, for in the end, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, when you can see the result for them, uh, it will. Zero or one, this route is the end side, right? Yes. And so, uh, uh, Alma doesn't uh, um, say about the main factor in uh, our decomposition, we use uh, uh, weight uh, space uh, in the yes, yes, yes. it, it's, it's gonna be the different yes. weighted topics yes. so mm -hmm. in, in the space of images mm -hmm. right? yeah. Yeah. but uh, if we uh, change uh, um, scheme of observation uh, from the parallel scheme, we uh, uh, return, um, return to uh, Pangin, uh, uh, parallel uh, Pangin scheme of observation. We get the uh, result uh, without uh, weight in the image space. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, very similar, very yeah. simple. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Is there also a result in three knee diagnosis? Yes, it does. Uh, and also for M then the Q. Uh, because uh, is there a uh, proof also connected with the uh, <laughs> say that you get results for normal problem as well, not for right. Yes. For it's, three dimensional we can also play. Yes. Yes. But uh, that the result uh, is based on the connection between normal radon transform and rate uh and rather transform of potential too yeah. and uh, there we get uh, function in the image space almost the same as here and that's why movement so for two dimensional three dimensional case mm -hmm. are the same so just to clarify you you have a plane in three dimensional space mm -hmm. and you integrate the normal yes components yes because um Right, the tangential components still would be two, so mm -hmm. you don't get such a neat mixed one. Yeah, but, but for this, just integrate the normal case, mm -hmm. but more like a scale. Mm -hmm. No, there, there we integrate the complex, right there. <laughs> not, for, for, for. Not, not along the uh, line, line, but so over the planes. Yes. Over the planes, yes. And two. And two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you published that, that one or the, the, the uh, three dimensional case yes, uh, uh, has published already, but on this uh, case, we are waiting on. Okay, thank you so much. Okay.